little one, where is your family? Wah! Hush, hush, everything will be okay, as long as Mother Earth helps us. What is this? A white baby? It's fine, I can raise him to be a fine Indian warrior instead of one of those filthy Pesh tank men. <sighs> Do your best, but I hear they are very hard to teach. I'm sure though I'm sure it will be fine. Do you like the filthy pesh tank men in their little dresses? It is rude to talk of them in that manner. Do you talk to your uncle or cousin like that? No, but every day more come to destroy our homes and it does not matter now. We have made a treaty to return those who have been taken from them, and they return their captives to us. Doesn't that mean I will have to go back to the Yangles? You must go and bring pride to the Lenny Lape. No! Bill Hardy thinks in his mind. This is the most difficult Indian of him of them all. He's trying to rip the rope with his teeth. Let me go so I can tear you to bits. Why? We have the same white blood. I am not white. I am Indian. But you still have white blood in you. No one can help the way they are born. You better snap your mouth, boy, or I'll shut it. Ah. Finally, back at our beautiful settlement. A settlement after unlike those savage Indians. They look awful and shameful to live in, especially as an Indian. Don't say that. That's where you were born. Never. I will not go there. It's too vile for Indians like me. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Get back here. No, oh, you're trying to run away, eh? Don't you know that there are guards? Guards! Find this Indian who just tried to escape. <laughs> guards! Bring these white Indians to the town meeting room. Hello? <gasps> Is that John? Thanks so much for bringing him, Del. You're welcome. The only problem is that he was too loud, so we had to gag him. Oh, I see. Can you remove the gag now? Okay. Calm down, John. I've come. I'm. I've come to here to pick you up. Your mother is so worried about you. He says you, you you are not his true father, and both of you are monsters. Hmm. What a foul way to greet one's father. Wait, what did he say? He says that you're just a weak white Englishman that has no right to take you with him and will not go with you. Also, he says you're a filthy pesh tag man who can't even beat him in wrestling because you're too weak. <coughs> Do you mind if I can have, if you can come with us to our house since he cannot really speak English? Fine. Okay, now let's go back to our house. Since you're our translator, Del, we'll provide you a room. No, I will not go into your filthy white houses even if you forced me to. In mm. Delaware. Be quiet, young ones. Get Really get annoying. In Delaware. We are. Ah, it looks nice to see out after nothing but trees for a few weeks. Let's go see your mother. She's anxious to see you, John. True son says in Delaware. Well, I am not at all anxious to see her. Del Hardy says in Delaware. 
Don't tell her that or she'll get mad. I won't meet her no matter what. I want my Indian parents Kayoga and Kadenga. Mary, we're back. I fucked on. Oh, thank goodness you weren't harmed by those savages. Um, and who might this be? This is Del Hardy, our translator. Translator? What do we need a translator for? Hello, true son. Who are you? It's me, your cousin Half Arrow. Thank goodness I found you. I was stuck with those filthy people. What brings you out here? I thought you were stuck in that ugly settlement of there. I cannot stand to be their captives, so I escaped the fort. However, I feel sorry going alone since this innocent boy, John, has been captive there, and I want him to come with us. Are you sure? He is a white boy, and I don't think he can come with us. Remember, he is not a Yangli, not a true human. Very well, then. I will be waiting here. What is this Yangli boy doing here? There's so much to explain to your son. I am not your silence boy. People are sleeping. I've adopted you where as you were wandering through the forest alone. I felt sorry for you and kept you as a ch my child. You have learned the righteous ways of a real man. But it's time for you to accept your true fate. The young wee boy you brought is your real father. Half Arrow and the others are not your real family. But we have always treated you as one, and you did also. However, you have broken the oath between us and the young wee, as we made a treaty to not exchange children during raids and wars. Now go back and enjoy your true destiny. Enjoy what the Pesh Tank have, and just be happy. I will always remember you, as I expect you to remember me. It is hard to say, but farewell, John. I will see you sometime in the future, hopefully. Go. Now, before some men start searching for you, they are worried about you also.
You're trying to run away, eh? Dang it! <laughs>